What's up everybody, my name is Vince. Welcome to the channel. We're gonna show you today a solution for SDS rotary hammers. Plus and max, and max, and max. If you've ever encountered a situation where you're drilling through concrete and you hit some rebar, you know what to do to your bit. Let's see how this full carbide head rotary hammer bit does. This is the first full line carbide head with a four cutter bits on the marketplace. We'll have 27 different profiles going from five and uh, 30 seconds to one and one eighth. Full carbide head. And you'll see this here. It's designed to be able to withstand the rebar, take the heat, and perform uh, a hole after hole. I'd love to know the process in, in how they integrate all that carbide on there. I guess they just weld it all on. How many holes were drilled with this? I How many times? Drilled that well. I drilled two holes. I missed it. So and one hole, I hit it. So we hit it. We hit. We hit rebar once with this. Yep. We we missed it. We drilled the hole through. What is this? Five thousand psi. Do you know? I don't. I don't think it's up to five thousand. It's probably around three. It's a fresher. All right. Yeah. So my question is, how many more holes is this good for in the rebar? Do you think? It depends on the size, how you hit it. Okay. Drill, but. And, and what's the goal? We're, 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 we're literally trying to go through, yeah, we're trying to go next. What are we doing here? I'm saying this bit will go through this bar. That's the solution. The full carbide head brings that solution for concrete or reinforced concrete. So when you hit rebar, you don't have to go get a rebar cutter to get through it. So it's one, one bit, one solution. That's the idea. Yeah, the tool, I could feel it change slightly. I, I knew I was actually, because at, at first I really thought I was stalled. I'm like, I'm stalled here. Maybe, maybe, maybe the carbide broke off. I didn't know what was going on. But then I felt a change in the tool and I said, wow, we're really gonna go through this piece of rebar. And then you could see right here, we came out through the other side. We probably made it almost through three quarters of this bar. I don't know that, that we made it straight through the center, but we're gonna see if we can see through this hole. Can you see any, can you see the bar? You can see the metal right here. We, we cut three quarters of this bar out. Okay, we're not gonna be able to, you know, extract the bar. I, I wanted to see maybe about cutting it completely in hand. But, you know, you never know. Could, you, could we have pulled it loose? I'm pretty strong, but um, I'm impressed. How many total holes in that manner do you think we're good for with, with a single bit? It depends on the aggregate, depends on the It just totally depends. Gotcha. It's a full car by head. So, so these- a Single piece of car, shaped like this. So, and then that's- The cross you see, it's a single piece of car. That's full of And then it's, it's welded to the tip. Instead of the, 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 the individual carbides being welded to this bit, this is a single head. This one particularly is 3 8 bit from Hilti. It's got a full carbide head. The challenge is from a manufacturing side, once it gets down into that rebar and experiences that extreme heat of trying to drill through that rebar, once the end user sets the drill down, prepares his anchor, cleans out his hole, that bit, the structural integrity of that bit is sacrificed and it's gonna fail very quickly after one hole. Um, so in order to simulate that, what we've got here today, again, concrete slab, half inch rebar, we're actually gonna heat up the bit to simulate that and then come back, cool it down and then drill again. So what we're gonna do is heat it with a torch to simulate that. We're gonna cool the bit off to simulate that first hole and then we're gonna go back and try to drill a second hole. So there's a new rebar demon from Diablo uh, versus the Hilti 3 8 bit. So let's heat them up guys. Good. Back it up a little bit. So, I'm gonna let you cool it down so you can see how hot these really get. All right. All right, so I'll tell you what, I'm gonna give you a head start, Brian. Let me get that out of the way. Oh, got a problem. What's that? Head sheared. Oh. So again, situation there is, just from a, from a full carbide head, again, limited range from the competition and limited manufacturing capabilities to allow them to go larger or to finish the job. So the solution, again, is the rebar demon from Diablo. One bit, one hole, whether it's standard concrete 
whether it's concrete with rebar. So I'm gonna drill this one right here. So if you wanna scoot around, I know you wanna film this. So we got a nice self-centering tip here. I wanna do my best to line up that rebar. So, so again, you can see how hot that bit gets in that application. It's a long process, right? So that's why we had to simulate it. But you can see, let me cool it off for you real quick. Drill another hole. <laughs> after lunch, can I wait till after lunch? <laughs> but you can see that bit still looks great. It's still a carbide, premium quality carbide, premium design, Diablo Rebar Demon, ready to take the heat and keep on drilling. Carbides come loose, break off. Yep. Okay. Is there a special process in attaching, welding this carbide, this full carbide head to this bit? Did I miss that part earlier? That is the difference between our bits and the competitive bits. I mean, you saw the limitations once it heats and cools. Yes. That's the limitation of the competition. Okay. Know? So they have a very limited range. They only have a few sides that are available today. Um, and then, again, you saw what happens when they heat. And, you know, that's simulating what happens when you hit rebar. You're going to generate a lot of heat. You cool it back down, and then your bit's done. I mean, that's, that's, not, a good, that's not good for productivity. Okay. So, yes, there is a, there's a lot of that goes into that process to make that happen so cool it must be proprietary he's not giving up the secrets there so. you, go. <laughs> <laughs> you got to keep it different but you know the goal is one bit one solution you know be able to do reinforced concrete standard concrete get the longest life best cutting efficiency bring it home guess what and it gets the job you're not switching between tools you're not switching through bits you're saving time you're being more productive in a, a specific amount of time it means you make more money and if you like that, smash the like button. Also, if it's your first time here, you're not already, get subscribed and tap the bell. Because how many times do you get to come to Stafta and see, get an inside look at Diablo's new offerings? Tap the bell, get subscribed. See you on the next one.